Okay, so I feel like my talk is on a much smaller topic than everyone else's. Uh, and I don't have slides, I've got post-it notes because we're agile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is based on uh, an article that J.B. Rainsberg wrote a few years ago uh, that I'll tweet the link out to afterwards because he will undoubtedly say it best than I know. So, uh, so how many people here have Kanban boards? Okay, almost everyone. Cool, that means I don't have to explain that. <laughs> so, how many people always pick the top item in their ready pull? Okay, that means this might be practical advice for a few weeks. So, let's uh, imagine this. <laughs> if you're dealing person notes from the side, <laughs> then uh, send they don't curl up and fall off. Okay, so <laughs> let's say this is our ready hole. And this is our doing hole. And over here, shortly, we'll be our done hole. So let's assume that we're not always picking from the top. So if someone's picked this one. Next up, they see this one and they think, actually, this looks really good. But they can't see doing that. I'll pick this one. Next person finishes that bit of work, sees this one, thinks, should I throw it out too? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's pick this one. And all the, all the time, things are just moving up here. So you don't have any visibility, but actually, you've still got the same thing at the top. And uh, it's not, not moving through. So actually, what you're doing here is you're hiding the fact that you have a second queue, a second ready pole for people who want to do the hard thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this has, this has a few big disadvantages. Firstly, and most obviously, this bit of work isn't getting done. And secondly, you're also introducing competition into your team because everyone's fighting to, to do this bit, not this bit. No one wants to be left with the point where, the point where there's only this bit left, so everyone's rushing to do the other stuff instead. So, how should this be working? So rather than should we move our ready column over to here. <laughs> so what should happen is someone should finish a bit of work, pick the top one, and even if it's a bit harder, go ahead and do it anyway. Now the the advantage of working this way is your your lowering cycle time. So the time from when something enters your ready column to when it enters your done column. Disadvantage is you may not be the best suited person to do that piece of work. So if something is particularly complicated, then if you're if you're a more junior developer, then you're more likely to struggle with that. So what can we do about that? Uh, I'd say I call this idea what I call truly cross-functional teams. And by that, I don't mean that you should be getting your product owner and your VAs to all load coding and all the expert developers, because that would be a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, what I mean is that everyone on a particular function, for example, a developer, should be able to pick up any task. That sounds kind of like, kind of, almost a bit of a pipe dream. I think that is achievable. If you if you have enough slack in your system so that you can uh, mentor your more junior developers and pair on them so that they can they can know what you know whilst or working together on a more complicated task, then they'll <coughs> then they'll get up to speed more quickly and next time they won't be fighting for those easier tasks. 
Does that make some sort of sense to him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that was everything. I seem to have rushed out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Any questions? <clears throat> Okay, cool.